So it's time to take a look at the brand new Vulcan Marvel Legends figure from the X-Men Bonebreaker Build-A-Figure Wave. This is of course by Hasbro, 6 inch scale, and this is finally our Bucky Cap replacement. So that's what makes this review extra exciting because we're finally going to take a close look at the new body mold that should be replacing the Bucky Cap mold. So there's a look at him through the window packaging. Of course, we have the uh, torso of bone breaker and it looks like his arms are attached which we're not used to always uh, having that when it comes to build a figure since that normally is a build a figure piece but this time around since this is a unique odd build a figure uh, we have a torso and and both of the arms are attached there here's the side art image looking pretty cool and then on the back side we get the rest of the wave here uh, actually let's get closer and then we have the read-up that reads, Vulcan sets his sights on total galactic conquest. Standing in his way are the X-Men, the Inhumans, the Kree, and his brother, Havoc. Alright, and before we get started, do me a favor and check out the links down below. Uh, it'll be an Etsy link and an Instagram link to Made1979 Customs. He is the person who created this diorama that you see right here. So big shout out to him uh, for making me this fantastic wonderful looking uh, backdrop it looks so good very happy and pleased with the way it turned out and uh, he has a lot more uh, stuff on his Instagram check out all the images yes he, you know he posts all his work there so be sure to check out follow him and um, you know possibly get something commissioned through him uh, so I just wanted to throw that out before we proceeded here with the review so without further ado let's check out Vulcan Brand new body mold as mentioned before. So of course this is going to be the main subject to talk about here today. Uh, and so far I am liking what I'm seeing. Right off the bat I can see that the majority of the figure is plastic mold. So the only paint job I really see here is maybe the torso right here, the blue. And that might be it. Of course the face sculpt is painted, the eyes and the lips. But um, no, you know, not a lot of paint. But there is pinless joints all over, so both arms and both legs are those beautiful, nice pinless joints. So now our Bucky Cat replacement will always forever have pinless joints, unless they do the old, uh, you know, sometimes they like to alternate pieces and they'll give us pinned knees while we have pinless elbows. And a lot of people don't like that, so hopefully, um, you know, hopefully we'll get pinless across the board eventually. But so far, so good. My initial impressions is I really am liking this body mold a lot better than Bucky Cap. Of course, Bucky Cap was great for its time, but it is clearly now outdated. In fact, that figure came out in like 2012, I believe. So yeah, it's it's been like 10 years. Also, I think this is our first official wave, not counting the Thor Love and Thunder because Technically, this should have released before that, but I, I understand that wave started coming out in stores um, in some areas, but I feel like this one was supposed to release before the Thor Love and Thunder wave. Anyways, what I'm getting at here is that these are $25 figures, so it's among the first batch of uh, Legends that we are getting uh, that is a wave that are $25 figures, and with that... We do get less accessories, at least with this guy. We only get a pair of hands, so we got a pair of fists on the figure right now. And then you can alternate some open hands, as you see right here. That's it for him, and of course we get the Build-A-Figure. So, if you want to count this, then of course we can count this as an accessory. We have the torso and arms to our Bone Breaker Build-A-Figure. We also do get the alternate fist hands for our Bone Breaker Build-A-Figure included with Vulcan so a pretty important piece here and I can see that it is not pinless and that's unfortunate kind of sucks but um yeah what are you gonna do so that's it for the accessories department so let's take a closer look at the figure all right so here is the head sculpt and you guys let me know down below what do you think of it I think it looks great I have no issues here the hair sculpt is fantastic I love the way they've been doing their hair sculpts on the figures the past couple years they have really perfected different styles of hair and uh and i love when they you know kind of sculpt out individual strands or you know 
patches of hair strands separately from the rest of the hair. Uh, it's very nice little detail and of course very clean job on the paint job for the eyes, the eyebrows, and the mouth. Sculpt wise it looks great. So here's the back side. Now the hair isn't really painted, it's just a plastic mold. Still looks pretty good though. There is no pin or peg hole in the back so that's cool. Uh, remember this is replacing Bucky Cat mold and that one definitely had a peg hole in the back. So that means every single figure that ever came out with that body mold has a peg hole in the back even though they don't need to use it on some particular uh, figures or characters I should say. So here we are admiring the torso sculpt which looks great. You can see here they implement the butterfly joints so now that's going to be our standard um, articulation point in our standard uh, Bucky cap mold. Now I guess we should just start calling it the Vulcan mold. Um, so. It's going to take some time to get used to that. But anyways, pinless elbows. I do notice, I feel like the um, the elbow piece is a little bit darker red than the red on the rest of the, you know, the arm, the bicep, tricep, and the forearm. Does anybody else kind of see that? Maybe it's a little bit glossier, and this is a little bit more matte. I do see it in the knees as well. It's just a slightly different tone. It's probably more... Uh, noticeable here in the bright lights. I'm sure it's going to be fine on your shelf in regular daytime lights or whatever. But it is something I do notice right now as I'm reviewing. So hopefully that gets straightened out. It's not the biggest deal and it's not the worst I've ever seen. It's definitely not like Shocker. If anybody has Shocker from the Retro Vintage Wave, you know what I'm talking about. That one has a pretty bad case in discoloration in the knees. Um, but here are the thighs and then down to the boots and the ankles. There's no toe hinge. Again, that doesn't debut until the new Spider-Man comes out. So that's your close look at him. So let's go ahead and articulate this thing. All right, so his head sits on a ball jointed hinge. I actually would have preferred that it was a ball jointed peg. I love that because you can get the head totes, but I guess this body will not have the ball peg or the, the barbell peg, I should say. He does look down though, very deep, and he looks up very deep. That's the that's the pro of the of the uh, hinge, but the con of the hinge is that there is no, you know, head tilting. There's a head swivel, of course, and then we have the arms moving all the way up. It does angle out a little bit, but it does move up. You can kind of rotate the bicep and get in it, you know, get it straightened out. Uh, move it back down. Here's the butterfly joints. I do feel like the butterfly joints do not move back as far as I would have thought they would. You can see the cut goes further, but it seems like the cut narrows out or narrows down as you go in. So the plastic will kind of get pinched and it won't move anymore unless you force it. But that's as far as he goes back. As far as he goes forward, it's rotate this. If you rotate this and hinge, that's going to move him forward a little bit more. You can see he can pretty much clap his hands or his fists there. As far as like maybe crossing his arms, I don't think he'll be able to do it, but he'll, he'll probably get pretty darn close to it. So the uh, the butterfly joints definitely do make a difference. If you know if they weren't there, you probably wouldn't be able to pull that much uh, range. But the biceps do swivel. We have double jointed, beautiful pinless elbows. Swivel at the wrist with a hinge. Ab crunch at the torso does not make any annoying clicking sound, so that's cool, and it's pretty sturdy and not loose. We have a waist swivel hidden underneath that belt, and then we have two jointed legs so that will kick forward pretty far up. They go back down. Um, the butt pretty much stops it, but he, you do get a little bit movement back. Uh, in and out, he doesn't do a full split, but he gets some pretty significant range there, good enough for me. And then we have a thigh swivel, double jointed beautiful pinless knees like that and then we get our boot cut shin swivel nicely you know implemented between the boot and the actual leg and then we have an ankle hinge at the foot and an ankle rocker no swivel your swivel is going to be at the boot all right so how does he stack up next to his predecessor here is the 2012 return of marvel legends wave 2 arnim zola wave to be exact Bucky Cap, the one that started it all for this mold. Back then it was absolutely amazing. I still think it's a great mold. 
gets so much hate nowadays, probably just because it's so overused. But it is time for a new body mold. It is time, but this thing definitely, definitely, you know, gave us some great figures. And now it's being passed on to Vulcan. And just look at the difference here proportionally. It just looks so much better on Vulcan. You guys let me know your thoughts down below. Really curious on how do you guys feel about this. But overall, this thing looks way better than Bucky Cat. It really does. And I'm excited to see some figures on this body mold. Um, but overall, side by side, really the only different articulation points is the butterfly joints on Vulcan. Um, everything else is on Bucky Cap. Double jointed knees and elbows, of course. And then we have uh, the boot cut, ankle rocker, hinge, everything. All your standard stuff, voice level, ab crunch is all there. The only thing really that is new is the butterfly joints. I mean, what more could you add aside from like toe hinges? Not much more. I mean, there's nothing else you could add. So I didn't expect anything crazy, but I'm definitely glad that now butterfly joints are becoming a standard and um and pinless joints that's the other major thing it's not really an articulation point but it's part of the articulation and it's pretty important to the aesthetic and the whole look so very excited for the future of this body mold and you can just see the height uh how much taller it is from the bucky cat mold so now these um characters will be much bigger you can just see the chest everything is proportionally bigger on this new body mold and we have yet to get a new bucky cat figure since this release in 2012 i still absolutely love this figure i don't care what anybody says this thing is a beauty i freaking love it but man i can't wait to see this thing on the vulcan body mold all right next up i'm gonna put him next to the retro vintage spider-man figure our current best spider-man figure up until the new one that comes out uh, and this thing is highly articulated, so I wanted to put him here next to this highly articulated Vulcan. And here, Spider-Man does win. He does have an extra point of articulation here. I guess they could have added it to Vulcan to, you know, max him all the way out. But this is really something that only Spider-Man really needs. So, and that is the dual torso articulation. That is the diaphragm joint with the ab crunch. It's more of a lower ab crunch. But it is that combination that uh, that's that's different. But that means he doesn't have a waist swivel. So we sacrifice the waist swivel on this figure, but he does have the diaphragm joint. So you can uh, swivel him at the torso, even though that does break up the costume design. Uh, so you gotta, you know, you gotta you gotta have a give with your take there. It's up to you. Do you want the waist swivel instead of the dual torso, you know, ab crunch and diaphragm joint? Or do you want the waist swivel but not the diaphragm joint and just the ab crunch? Overall, I feel like this articulation is just really meant for Spider-Man. And I'm totally fine with, with this here on Vulcan. Again, Vulcan does stand taller and he looks proportionally bigger than Spider-Man. Alright, so we haven't gotten to the Havoc in this wave yet, but I do have the 90s Jim Lee Havoc right here. And he does stand the, almost about the same height. I think Vulcan does have a little bit, tad bit more height over him. And then here he's next to a bit of a bigger character. We have Gladiator. And he does uh, definitely stand taller than Vulcan, but overall, size-wise, they both look great next to each other. And here I'll throw in his older brother, Scott Summers. So, those who don't know, this is Gabriel Summers. This is Scott Summers. They are brothers. Mr. Scott Summers over here on the right side, Cyclops, is utilizing that Bucky Cat mold, wouldn't you know? So here is another example of the old Bucky Cat mold next to the, the new and improved Vulcan body mold. So be sure to stay tuned for my Havoc review so we can have these two square up, you know, side by side and check them out together. Um, I don't have him quite yet. Uh, available to uh, to compare him next to Vulcan, but I will. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for that review. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like down below. And let me know your thoughts on the new Vulcan, on the new standard body mold from Marvel Legends. I am pretty hyped about it. I think it's fantastic. It looks great. It looks good. Um, and I'm very, very excited for the uh, future of this body mold. So uh, with that said... Subscribe if you haven't done so already. 
Stay tuned for more. And as always, take care, take it easy, and have a good one.